It's Women's History Month, and one publication raised their glass to a group of powerhouse women who are making remarkable contributions as whiskey taste makers. That's right. Garden and Gun honored seven women, including Alex Castle of um, Old Dominic. She's actually the master distiller. Please welcome Alex and Amanda. Welcome in. Hi. I'm so glad you guys are here. And of course, you brought some yummy whiskey of here. But <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Amanda, this magazine covers so many wonderful things, all about Southern lifestyle, culture. So what was it that made you want to shine a spotlight on these wonderful ladies? So so from the very beginning, we have covered um, bourbon. We, we kind of tease that our readers um, can't get enough of the three, B, the three Bs, so bourbon, bacon, and biscuits. Yum. <laughs> um, and so like we've been around since 2007, and there's really been a huge boom in bourbon since then. So we've covered it in print and online, you know, distilleries, makers, news, experiences. But there's so much now, and so it was like, how do we kind of help people plunge in? So mm -hmm. our February-March issue was all about bourbon, and um, we included things like um, great newer bourbon bars, including Barrel Proof here in Nashville, mm -hmm. great bourbon cocktails, and um, a great road trip through bourbon country. Wow. But in so many years of covering bourbon, you know, we know that, that bourbon has been sort of an old boys club. Mm -hmm. and that there are so many women um, not only being a part of the industry, but really moving it forward into the future, like Alex here is, is at Old Dominic, and we wanted to shine a light on them and tell more of that story. Yes, trailblazer, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> yes. I love, okay, so, you know, more and more we're seeing more women, uh, excuse me, over time, we're seeing more and more women mm -hmm. um, within this industry in particular, but it wasn't always that way. So what kind of challenges, I would imagine, there were several, that <laughs> did you have to overcome in where you got to today? Um, the biggest challenge is just getting your voice heard when you're in a room of just men, because mm -hmm. that, that happened a lot. Um, I studied chemical engineering. It was still male dominated. Um, the brewery I worked at, male dominated. Mm -hmm. And so it was it was forcing a space for your seat at the table. Mm -hmm. And then when you're sitting at the table, getting them to listen to you. Mm -hmm. And even now it's still hard sometimes to be heard. Mm -hmm. right. Ooh, right. What's a That's piece of advice for, because <laughs> I'm sure a lot of women out there in any industry yeah. could. Oh yeah, this is not spirit specific at all. Uh, just be confident in what you know. Mm -hmm. If you've been hired in that role, it's because you have the skill set, you have the experience. Mm -hmm. So just be confident mm -hmm. in that and speak up. Mm -hmm. Trust. Trust. Trust that you know what you're doing yes. and you belong there. Yes. yes. Um, okay, speaking of that, let's mm -hmm. trust you yes. to tell us a little <laughs> bit about this as we take a little sip. Absolutely. I've never tried this. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Okay, so tell yes. us all about it. So this is going to be our straight Tennessee whiskey. Ooh. It's going to be a high corn mm -hmm. content mash bill, so 75% corn. That's right. Um, and it's a blend of four to six years old, 85 proof, so a little bit lower, nice sippable yeah. whiskey, even without ice. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's not lightening up no, too, too much. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> and this is um, actually our first whiskey. We released it back in the fall of 2022, mm -hmm. and it happened to be the first whiskey to be distilled, aged, and bottled in Memphis since Prohibition. Oh, wow, nope. that's pretty cool. So. How did you make that happen? Oh, it, it helps when you're the only, like, fully functioning distillery <laughs> in Memphis. <laughs> hey, whatever, you get to take that title. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, so next month, Garden and Gun is going to host some really, really cool yes. events at an amazing location. Tell us about it. So on the hills of this issue, we are doing a series of events in and around Louisville from April 23rd through 28th called Distilled with Team Kentucky. And it's all kinds of different bourbon events, including a, a women in whiskey event um, on the 25th. And you know, there are plenty of tickets available. We'd love people to come join us. They're at gardeninggun.com slash distilled. Um, but we're gonna have distillery tours, um, special dinners, um, Heaven's Door whiskey. We're gonna have like a songwriters night. So a lot of fun stuff planned and all bourbon whiskey centric. And we were just so looking fun. at the photo of all of the seven women that were honored in the Garden and G Gun, um, excuse me, um, article. So Look cool. at that. Just hats off to all of you, really and truly. Alex, you, a trailblazer. <laughs> yes. yes. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Thank well you both deserved. for being here, too. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Well, as you heard it, tickets for Garden and Gun Distilled are available now. Again, the event is happening April 23rd through the 28th. Make sure you get these tickets while they last. Visit gardenandgun.com.